Hola, amigos. We're going to be festive today with our. Oh, went too hard. With our headband. Um, this is gonna be like some hardcore, like costume style contouring. Or for like, I guess it's like really heavy makeup, but. Depending on if you want to be cake based or not, you could probably like rock it on a day to day basis. And I know my brows look really heavy right now because I don't have any other makeup on besides foundation, which I have on and it is like eight products because I want to look like a doll today. I am being French made, not by choice. <laughs> So this is going to be like contouring, blushes, and bronzer highlights. First off, I'm going to start off with this, um, it was a limited edition touch of color, um, by, I don't even know what brand this is. It's like a gold pasty crap. So that's not really showing up all, but, so what we're going to do is we're going to, Sort of swipe this on the cheekbone here, or on the top of the cheekbone, right above the eyebrow. A little bit down this. I like to do right above my cupid's bow here, and right at the bottom of my lip. I'm going to take foundation brush and just tap it and slightly sort of flick like um, the event I'm going to is like a half charity event pay entry but all the money goes to Somebody rented a club, but all the money goes to charity that they support, so pretty cool. I'm also going to a house party and three other bars. I work in just, I work promotion slash industry, so I get to go to a lot of awesomeness right now. And I, I was going to be listing this guy with diamonds since this thing over here, but my friends told me it was unacceptable for the kind of parties we were going to. It was too cutesy and too much explanation being needed. Okay, so um, I'm not actually using this, don't worry, it's just I need a mirror closer, because I don't have my glasses, so I really can't see you right now at all, or myself, but um, I'm using Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and a MAC brush thingy, yeah, contoured shaped one. Suck in, and go from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. Bring it right up to your ear, by the way, because nothing looks stupider than having like a super white ear. I also like to do my. Sorry, I have like something that I can feel like chilling in my ear, like. Not like a bug or anything, but something. Then I'm just gonna use this big elf face brush, slightly blend it a little bit better. That's for the cheeks. Also, I like to go right in here just a little bit, sides of my nose, and into the base of my cheek area a little bit. That I'm going to use a kabuki for as soon as I can find it. Um, And I'm going to take some more, because he doesn't like bronzer. This part here is why I wear a headband. Um, it goes right into my upper temple area, because I have a really round face. 
Um, I almost used, um, out of the Bobby Brown makeup book, I almost used what is considered her, like, black face. Not to sound racist, but it's like, essentially what they do is they say that color goes from darker to lighter on the inside of the face. And so I started to do that because I feel like I get more shape to my face that way. And I want really defined cheekbones right now, so I'm going to do this even more. Yeah. Yeah, more cheekbones. Also, I'm going to take a little bit more of the gold shirt. A little bit more. Sorry, man. Gold shirt! Then I'm going to take oh, Gold Dusk by MAC Pigment. Oh, that was probably too much. Okay, whatever. It's Halloween! <laughs> so I just dab my finger in it. It's kind of a pearlized goldy color. I know that looks very drastic, but hey, it's Halloween. And then we're gonna blend it out. And then on top of the brow. You may have to touch up your eyebrows after this, I usually do, but... I put it always... Sorry, I put it before, so it looks very nasty right now. And then I just tap it with a foundation brush that I use, because what I find it does is it takes the highly pigmentedness out, keep matching your skin tone, and still gives you that awesome doll-like shimmer. Sorry, I just need to touch up my brows. I'm using Brown Down by MAC. It's an eyeshadow, and I'm just a angled brush that I have. Um, and then, for blushes, I'm going to start with using Pink Smoon by MAC, and I'm going to use a blush brush for this one. I want this right on the apples of my teeth. And then I'm bringing it up slightly. I I think Halloween's my favorite time of year just for the pure fact that I do get to go out to a lot of really fun events and also taking overlays for theatrical makeup. It was initially what I wanted to do for a living, so now I'm taking a duo fiber blush and stay pretty by MAC, which is like my new obsession right now. Bring it into the cheeks a little bit. Alrighty, and then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just seriously dabbing it once, twice, into the bronzer to blend right in here just for the fact of kind of take some of that pinkness away but you still get the pinkness i think it mutes it a little bit and then i'm just gonna swipe over once there's a giant fluffy string thingy oh, I did. and then just because i like the like, contrast the fibers on my face because i'm weird like that i like contrasting fibers why is my computer not unfreezing sorry my screensaver keeps coming up i'm just gonna 
once over with my body shop brush. It's amazing. And yeah. That is my hardcore contouring. The color doesn't really pick it up, but trust me, you you do this, it'll look amazing. Um, I might post new pictures, maybe. Cause I don't know how to edit videos like that. So there we go. Next up, I'm going to do a eye tutorial on my smoky, sexy look. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. New video in like momentary time lapse.